Good evening, First Lutheran Church Cincinnati and friends of First Lutheran Church. Uh, we're so glad that you can join us this evening for our second Holden Evening Prayer for the Advent season. Uh, so those of you who are new to Holden Evening Prayer, you may have received a uh, bulletin like this in the mail. It says Holden Evening Prayer. Uh, if not, that's okay. Uh, we will also have the music available on the slides going forward. So um, if this is your first time, uh, th it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a very musical service. And uh, Matt and I are going to be leading some of the parts. So you'll see some, uh, some parts that are responsive and those are parts that you can sing. Uh, and then there's later parts that I'll, I will go ahead and take care of too. A couple of quick things to bring your attention to for, the, for your first time is in the second section of the service, it would be on page four if you have a, if you have a bulletin like this. Um, it's going, there's a song that's sung in a round. So it's called, um, actually it's page, page three. It starts on page three, but um, it starts in a round. And so there's a group one and a group two. I'm gonna be singing group one and Matt is going to be singing group two while he plays on the piano as well. So um, do with that what you will. If you would like to sing in the round, uh, feel free to sing in, in the group two part. Or if you, if you would like, um, to sing with me, you can sing in, in the group one part. The other thing to draw your attention to is on page eight, uh, the litany and prayers. So you'll notice uh, after we sing the Magnificat, uh, there is a, a, a section where we'll be doing some call and response kind of intercession. There's a, an A section and a B section. And so while I'm singing the, uh, the each petition, that's going to be part A, and you'll be humming along. And then in part B, you'll respond with, God of mercy, hold us in love. Um, to kind of give you an idea of what that might sound like, um, can you give me the, the note real quick? In peace, in peace, we pray to you. And then you'll respond. God of mercy, hold us in love. So just to kind of be something that uh, that you're aware of as well. This evening, we also welcome Elizabeth Gilbert is going to be sharing some reflections on our second uh, second week of Advent, and this week we'll be talking about peace. And so during that time, she'll be uh, she'll be sharing a, a piece of scripture from um, a piece of scripture with us and some reflections on peace. And so be thinking a little bit about. Uh, how peace shows up in your life too. I'm sure there'll probably be some some wonderful things you can take away. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and light our Advent wreath. And let's take a moment and we'll begin. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. No light, no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face. You who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts. On you. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night. 
bright with wonder, love that warms the weary soul, love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and light of all creation. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. O God, I call to you, come to me now. O hear my voice when I cry to let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Keep watch within me, God, deep in my heart, may the light of your heart be burning. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. All praise to the God of all, creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the Spirit of love. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Hi, I, uh, we're thinking about peace this week and I, um, read and really enjoyed the scripture and so I want to share that with you guys um and I think before jumping into that um when I was thinking about peace for this week in preparation uh 
I feel like this time right now, uh, there's this idea that like, you know, peace has to come from within, like it's not gonna come from the world, but it is really not gonna come from the world this year, you know? Like the world is hectic and stressful and there's between politics and holidays and COVID and holidays being totally different this year than every other year before. Uh, these things aren't gonna bring us peace. And um, I think with, with Advent and um, Holden, this brings us to, you know, peace coming from within means that peace is coming from God um, in the season. So um, that's something that I found in the scripture and um, really enjoyed. And these are some of the things that I've been thinking about. So uh, jumping into John chapter 14, verses 15 through 31. Uh, this section also is titled, Jesus Promises the Holy Spirit, which I really liked. So if you love me, keep my commands and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my father and you are in me and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot said, but Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them and we will come to them and make our homes with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words here are not my own. They belong to the father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. And do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You hear me say, I am going away and I'm coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not say much more to you, for the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come now, let us leave. The things that um, stood out to me in this were uh, just these incredible promises that Jesus is making. And, you know, he mentions peace directly a couple of times, but most of it is like, it just the promise of the Holy Spirit's presence with us. Um, talking a lot about Jesus is not going to, be there forever. Um, some things, especially the, the father will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. Um, he lives with you and will be in you. Um, that, that presence of the Holy Spirit, that presence of um, God with us, that um, giving us peace for the rest of time for um, in our daily lives, even though um, we can't see, can't see Jesus and we don't have the presence that the um, apostles here had. Um, it's incredible that like, that was what stopped me. I was like, whoa. Um, I think especially because when I turn to the Bible, the books that I like to instinctively go to, my, my go-to are definitely the letters and Psalms um, because the Psalms are so poetic and the letters feel like they're speaking to people like us um, really directly. So that's where I go to in the Bible for, for peace. And, um, you know, the gospels are something I, know of and I you know know the stories and things like that but I hadn't thought to like open this up and find peace here but um I don't know if you have a red letter bible but this section is just like all red like it's all Jesus talking to us and I like reading this I was like whoa you know like why don't I turn to this more often this is um this is so calming this is so encouraging to hear through Jesus directly to to us through this um his presence with us um and that that being the source of peace for this season for right now um yeah that that being what peace in god looks like um yeah so i'm thinking about having realized that i don't turn to the gospels and that this was kind of incredible and comforting to to see i'm really curious where you find peace if you 
uh, have another part of the Bible that like me, you like to go to, or if you have another spiritual practice in your prayer or something besides reading scripture or some mean community that brings peace to you, um, where do you see that this season? Uh, maybe we'll have some time after Holden to chat about that um, or to hear your, your perspectives. I, I was reading this and I was like, man, this, this feels like a conversation more than it does some, uh, you know, Jesus words are great, uh, but I, you know, they're the, they're the main focus here. I don't know if I can add anything like incredible and, you know, mind, mind bending or anything, but I'm really curious what everyone else's you know, thoughts are on where you find peace um, in the Bible or in some other practice. Um, yeah, so those are the parts that stuck out to me and just, um, you know, I think finding peace in the Holy Spirit, this um, one other thing that um, the, one of the pastors at my home church mentioned the first week of Advent, I've been kind of excited for this Advent season because it's the first one where I don't have exams in the middle of it and I can just kind of focus on <laughs> having Advent and not having to worry about studying for hours in the middle of it. Um, she said that like, this is, this is a season when the world expects us to just like be able to do it on our own, just um, be able to just do it on our own. Uh, but Advent reminds us that, um, Advent reminds us that we don't like, we don't have to, that's not, that's not the way we, we do it with God. Um, and it's not a season of self-sufficiency, it's a season of drawing close to God and finding peace in him. So um, some things I've been holding with me and um, curious what you've been holding with you, uh, but let's uh, also um, find peace in Holden together with the rest of the Holden service and the music we can share um, together. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here, and blessed me all my life through.
peace, in peace we pray to you. and salvation we pray to you. God have mercy on us in love. For peace between nations, for peace between peoples. God have mercy on us in love. For all us who gather to worship and praise you. servants who live out your gospel. God have mercy on us in love. For all those who govern that justice might guide them. God have mercy on us in love. For all those who labor in service to Whether that nourishes all of creation, God of mercy on us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy on us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy. Comfort us all of our days. Keep us all the spacious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us this evening. Um, we're so glad that uh, you were able to, uh, to join us, and we hope that this service has been a blessing to you and a time for uh, peaceful meditation and community. Um, as, we, uh, as we leave here, uh, go in peace and be sure to stick around uh, for a little bit of conversation and feel free to share your own thoughts and reflections on peace as well. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. To God.